It's time now for Civic Center News. Here's Emmy Lucas. On beautiful days like this, golf courses like the Knollwood Country Club here in West Bloomfield Township are just waiting for golfers to come and hit the links. And today, former and present professional athletes came out to support the Charlie Sanders Foundation to show that there's more to sports than just the X's and O's. Created in 2007, the Charlie Sanders Foundation began as a scholarship fund for prep athletes. But after the sudden passing of some Michigan high schoolers, Sanders decided it was time to shift the focus of his foundation. It was more in recognition or awareness of a Finville incident with the kid making the layup and, and, and having a heart attack and dropping dead. And there was something that wasn't right about that. The most natural thing, I think, for student athletes, and I'm talking kids 12 to 18 years old, the most natural thing for them to do is to play. And it's kind of unfair that the majority of them that are playing may not be aware that they're healthy enough to play. And now he uses his status to attract other well-known sports figures to join in his fight. To be honest with you, the first time I came it was probably 50% the cause and 50% Charlie Sanders. You know, I idolized him growing up, watching him play, and and, uh, and boy, everything we I thought happened. It's uh, He's a class guy and he's going to do a heck of a job with this. And for the second straight year, the Knollwood Country Club played host to the Charlie Sanders Have a Heart, Save a Life golf outing. And although some players have been separated by years of retirement, they can still count on each other to back them up. We roomed together our last years in the league with the Detroit Lions. Uh, we played in quite a few Pro Bowls together, and uh, we've been knowing each other for the better part of 45 years now. So uh, anytime any of my teammates and former teammates particularly have something that's going on that's worthy to the community and for the overall cause of helping to rid a lot of things that are going on, I'm more than willing to participate. When you've been blessed with, uh, you know, with opportunities and you can help out, I mean, you want to do that. And once again, um, just with the friendship and the length of the friendship and the things that Charlie's involved in, I didn't, I didn't second guess this at all. And while some answered the calling of a friend, others had different motivations to support the effort. Not a lot of people know this. Uh, one of my close teammates when I was in high school, um, died of a, of a heart disease and it was something that his family um, and his mother especially wanted defibrillators in, in every single high school and I thought that was very important. And on a day that was meant to bring awareness to a serious cause, it seemed everyone managed to have a little fun too. You feel a little ganged up playing with all these lions? Yeah, I do. But I like these football guys so this is going to be fun too and maybe we can have some kind of challenge. I wish my game was better but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to survive, play with them, see what happens. You know, you know guys that show up with uh, holes in their pockets and drop balls and, and you know, <laughs> things like that. So uh, I, know, I know for a fact that Fox and Riley uh, Reef, uh, two linemen that probably can't play uh, uh, at all, they already have a standing bet as to who's going to have uh, the best score out here today. Right in the middle of the fairway. Got that? <laughs> He broke the club. <laughs> I think he could be a spokesman for Ping now, right? <laughs> but after a long day of golf and a little bit of silliness, too many cameras. the message Sanders intended to send was not lost. The history and the studies that, that, that are being brought out uh, basically found that uh, there's the one student athlete that dies every three days from a heart attack. The awareness of how serious the problem is and the awareness to the parents that just because you gave your son or your daughter a physical doesn't mean that they have a healthy heart. This has been a Civic Center TV news update. Stay in touch with your community with Civic Center TV, television that's close to home.